Last video, I sold my entire bank on dead man mode and swapped it for the main game gold and I made just under 1 billion GP. But now my bank is completely empty, all my untradables are broken, all I have is a dead man starter pack. I'm putting 24 hours on the clock and the plan is to use this dead man starter pack and in 24 hours make enough money to buy the sigil of the ninja, the best sigil in the game. It is insanely expensive though, at the time of recording this, it is about 120 mil in dead man mode money, which means it's about 360 million gold in 07 money. So I have 24 hours to make 360 million gold. So let's open up this starter pack and get started. All right, it's time to open the starter pack and I'm gonna get a free sigil from this. It's a low tier sigil, so it could be worth nothing but i could get like a porcupine and it could be worth like millions of gold and i got sigil of resilience i i'm pretty sure that's worth like absolutely nothing thankfully we do get five thousand coins from the starter pack and i'm gonna buy myself a looting bag note oh it only costs 2k i have 3k to work with and we're gonna wait for a breach to spawn a breach has spawned south of alcarid start the timer and i think i can just buy a dueling ring from the grand exchange and i'm gonna run there with my starter bow please buy for 2500 nice i think i should be able to loot a lot with the the looting bag that i have because there's so many monsters that die people can't pick up all the loot so people will tend to just leave things on the ground so hopefully no one will think i'm a threat in a starter bow they'll just leave me alone and let me loot in peace gonna get something good 14 toad flax i reckon that's about like 20k it's not terrible i guess but i could be doing a lot better everyone's running south is there more to the south Oh, 10k coins and some ranging pots. That is not bad. The actual breach must be over here. Those things, I think... Oh, a dueling ring. I don't think it's worth picking up. The actual breach is over here. I think those things were just lured over there to safety. There's a lot of people here, and I'm really hoping that none of them get on me. Oh, rune plate legs. Rune plate legs, please. Oh, someone got it. But that's what I'm That's what I'm saying. People just leave stuff on the ground. Blood runes! That was 100k in blood runes. It was a green text. I think I got them. There's more over here. That, dude, look at all the loot that's just people leave. I don't even think I need to hit the boss. I'm just going to cl click in the loot piles. And hopefully I don't die. If I can make it out of here, it will be huge. A really, really good start. Oh my god, another huge loot pile right there. Is there anything worth taking? Oh, rune plate legs, rune scimitar. I think I'm going to get all this. No one else is looting this. I'm literally just picking up money off the floor right now. This is insane. Oh, some green text over here i get to the loot pile S nothing crazy there's mystic on the ground right here mystic is worth a lot oh my god i'm dying to criara please please just give me all this anti-venoms that's probably worthless super storm just gonna click all the green text dude looting these loot piles is crazy oh my god 76 sharks four brews 11 brews this is such good loot oh my god there's not even anyone over here full rune there's so much stuff. All this rune stuff is just alchemicals that will sell for a lot. Oh god, a team is running in. Oh no, someone is attacking me. If I die now, I have to start with not even a starter pack. I just have to start with nothing. Maybe I can get an escape on this ladder. Oh my god. Oh god. I have 5 HP. Is it 15 HP? Go around here. Oh, that has to be the teleport. Later, chair sitter nine. I don't know why you're attacking a naked guy. Oh god, there's someone in the bank. Run! Oh my god, look at that looting bag. I have so much stuff. Oh my god. I just looted so much and I actually got out. There's someone in Edgeville and I die now. I'm going to be so mad. Please let Edgeville be empty. Oh, okay, there's no one here. Okay, oh, wait, oh, there is someone here. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about the naked guy. He's a good PK. Oh my god, we're five minutes into the challenge and I have like hundreds of Ks in my looting bag. This is going fantastic. All right, let's, oh my god, that looting bag looks so good. Let's dump it all in here. I need to put some of this in my deposit box. So if I go back out, I don't lose it. I'm on a time limit here. Let's put all this in here. Don't worry about the Bellator rings. I'm saving those for when it actually transfers to 45. 
So I can't actually put everything in. A little unfortunate. I can get shark's food. Oh my god, I have supplies too. Oh my god, I'm actually stacked. Okay, I am back and I'm ready to loot again. If I die, I still have like a couple hundred K in my deposit box. Let's turn on this entity hider and let's just go to town looting. Oh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I got ice barraged. I think there's an actual clan here now. It's not a group of random, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh no, that was fast. I got, I was here for 10 seconds. There's an actual clan at this breach. I still have all that stuff in my deposit box that I didn't just lose, but I think I'm gonna try to find a different breach. And I died at that one too. All right, let's get this stuff out of the deposit box and chuck it into the Grand Exchange. It all sells for over elk price because of the Alchemaniac sigil, so this should be a fair bit of loot. I'm rich! Oh my god, we have 314k to work with. That is, that is a lot more than I thought I was going to get at the breach. I just went on a little spending spree stuff and dead man is expensive. Uh, I got this sigil of slaughter that I'm going to activate and I'm going to go do a portion of interest. I want the slayer points from that quest. Look at the setup. This is like what oh, cost 200k. This glory that I'm using almost 100k quest complete, which means we get 30 slayer points, which we can use to choose a specific task. I think you can see where this is going. Let's go to Edgeville. Let's choose revenants. We're going to go to the rev caves. How many is it going to give me? 99 revenants with the sigil of slaughter. With a sigil of slaughter, that's 200 revenants I can kill on task. And they're insanely boosted for the weapons on task. So I'm really hoping I spoon a lucky weapon. Honestly, 200 revenants, it wouldn't even be a spoon. I couldn't afford a bracelet. So I think I'm just going to have to kill the lower tier ones. But we can still get lucky. Here goes our whole cash stack. Minus 100k to get in paying the entry fee. And I think I'm going to go over here and kill the hobgoblins. Hey, there's the bracelet. I can take no damage from these basically now. Wait, it's in my looting bag. Oh my god. I'm just going to destroy this, pick it up. There we go. Put the bracelet on. I couldn't afford this, but now I have it. Hopefully I get another looting bag from the rev. All right, we're going to move to the orcs now that I have another looting bag. Uh, anything over 100 combat can drop a sigil, I think, or like a supply drop. I don't know how it works. Uh, I think it's more on task. So 100 combat on task. These should drop some supply drops for us. A rev boss on my first orc. Bro, I can't even, I don't think I can even kill this. I'm just going to hop worlds. Tier one. I don't think I can get like anything with a tier one now. 100k points. We'll, we'll find out. All right. That's 20 minutes of revenants done. Not much in the looting bag. Not going to lie. I got two bracelets. I should be able to mega upgrade my setup though. Let's go back to the grand exchange. I should be able to mega upgrade my setup with the money that I sell all this Revolut for, probably like 200, 300k. I can buy some basic sigils that will really help me out. 248k from all the Alks. Oh, I didn't sell this. 300k. Uh, I'm going to buy Sigil of the Deft Strikes. Hopefully this buys for 100k. And Sigil of Consistency. Hopefully this buys for 100k. Nice. Okay, we still have 200k left over. Can I upgrade my void with that? Void would be so nice here. Nice, I can. Okay, the void is on. Let's buy some more rune arrows and go back up. Get another skull, go back up. All right, we have enough to also repair our void mage helm, which is going to be very important for escaping. I can switch to my water staff and void mage helm. It's going to be a rough escape, but it'll work. It'll work. We're not going to use a bracelet because we're just going to kill the hobgoblins because I think it's probably just faster to kill those. The, the orcs, I didn't have enough DPS. Maybe with the relics, I could kill the orcs, but I'm just going to kill the hobgoblins. Hopefully, they don't do too much damage to me. Are you kidding? Oh, he's a VLS. Got the freeze. Okay, well, that's why I have that. Jesus Christ. Literally the first revenant I kill. Jesus. All right, another skull is about out. Or it is out, I guess, now. Go back to the GE. The loot is very, very good. Let's put all of it in our bank and then take it out. So much stuff. I really wish I could afford Alchemaniac and Alkthies myself because I'm probably getting merged, let's be honest. Will they sell for 50k? Boom. I think I want Alchemaniac and Versatility so I can Alkthies myself. I don't want to get merged on these. I really want to be on the other spellbook. 30k, not bad. 
equip these utility sigils and elk all of these and see how much cash I have left over. All right, look at this. This is a really good plan. These dragon stones are buying for so cheap. How much can I buy for 35k? Can I buy can I buy nine? Oh my god, I can. I can just make all of these glories. That's 17 glories. Let's just chill for now so I don't overextend and waste all of my cash. And let's teleport to Falador and make them real quick. Yeah, we're going to make all these glories. How many glories is that? 17, I think it was. Let's go see how much one sells for it. Each, each thing was like 35k. How much is a glory? Let's, I, I'd be happy with anything over 40k because I think I want to go charge them. 52k. How much is a charged one? 85k. Yeah, they're selling for 80k. So if I go charge this full inventory, that's a couple hundred k just free. Yeah, I'm going to go charge all of these glories. Then we're going to go get another skull and do revs. All the glories are charged. This is a little spooky. Uh, So I instead of selling them for 52k, I'm going to let them slow sell for 78k. That's what is a 25k of glory. So that's an extra 200, 250k. Hopefully these will all slow sell in the 20 minutes that I can go back to revs and that'll be 1.3 million GP. Damn, there's another PKer. This is like kind of an active spot. I didn't think it would be. There's no way he hits me before I teleport, right? No. Okay, it was, kind of, it was closer than I thought. Wow. All right, let's go to a different rev spot. This is a 400k drop. The glories are selling 80k. All right, I'm going to take this bracelet and dip. Let's put my revenant ether in there. Man, I'm so, so, so stacked. Look at this. Five dragon stones, two plate skirts. My skull should be running out right now. Go to Edgefield and spam Telly here. Boom, and we're safe. Safe and sound, and let's look at the GE. Dude, these sold like hotcakes, bro. They sold so instantly. 1.3 mil, we're all just under two hours in. Or just over, under, I don't know. Got three emblems as well. I'm just gonna stack the points here. This will be my rebuild if I do end up dying. 300K points, not much, but you know, it's it's something. Let's put on the Alchemaniac and Alk all of this stuff. And I think I'm gonna make these into more glories and then put, I'm gonna put an offer and just buy dragon, like, hella dragon stones because wow this is such good profits like 50k per dragon stone get me out of here i have no food high risk high reward i did two envies of glories some of the deposit box as well just in case i died or the bellator rings i'm just gonna wait till it transfers to 45 to sell those 51 glories these are gonna sell for 78k each four mil already and we're not even three hours in look wow they're already selling a whole chunk of them sold what do i do next Pro do i go back to revs revs is so scary man while this sells, uh, it's time to go bursting. I want to do a little bit of magic training. I still have to get 94 so I can use Barrage. I have to use magic potions. So we're trying to go to Monkey Madness. We're going to go to the Monkey Madness 1 cave so I don't die. It's a little bit worse XP, but I've heard it's better sigils. Is that a PKer? That is a PKer. Oh, God. I've been here for five minutes. So there's already a PKer checking here. Oh, God. His friend is right there, too. That was close. Okay, I'm not, I'm not barraging. Never mind. Screw that. Oh my god, this sells this is so cheap. 1400 k for a tumic and shadow. That is very nice. Okay. I think I might just go do oh 17 of these sold. I don't know why I'm just now doing this, but if I get an Anna Carl teleport into my house. Anna Carl, another small round or a small batch of glories. I did not bring a stam. But thankfully I'm a lot closer to teleporting here. I think I have an idea of what I want to do while these other glories sell. All right, I bought a dragon scimitar and I'm going to repair the rest of my untradables here because I think I want to go try PKing. I have a couple spots that I want to go check that I have had success in the earlier DMMs. I'm going to buy a rune crossbow and we're going to get a nice PK setup going. There's a guy here. Yes, I've checked so many spots. There's It's dead hours. There's been no one. Come here. Let me scimitar you. Look at this. Boom, his prayer is gone and the neck reels will just finish him off for me. A bit cheesy, but I don't have any money for a good setup. Let's see what the loot is. Maybe he has a lot of Necreal loot. Ooh, a lot of rune full helms. I reckon this might be good. All right, all of the alkables on this guy are looking like they're gonna alk for about 250, 230K. Anything in the key? It says 800K, but ooh, 800 nature runes. Uh, let's bank it and see how much this is actually worth because it is not that much. All right, well, about 300K because I'm just gonna keep these nature runes and death runes. And I think someone's overbuying my dragon stones now and underselling my glories. Looks like we got some competition, so we're going to have to lower the margins a little bit. First, Zora kill on the account. I decided to do Zora while the glories sell instead of uh, Revenants because I have a shadow now. 
Under two minutes per kill, that's not terrible, I guess. I have a pretty bad setup, but I can still do okay kills. The uniques are incredibly common, like one in 32, so maybe I can spoon one. All right, I just sold eight kills worth of Zora loot. 150, dude, I barely even, like, I think I'm losing money doing this. This feels really bad. Let's go 50k. Let's do three more inventories or three more trips. And then if I don't get a unique, I'm out. Because this really feels like I'm just trying to hit the lottery with a unique. And the lottery is not even that good. Because I think a blowpipe and a magic fang are like... Three mil? Alright, that's my last kill. Oh, preservation! No, why is it a shit one? Man, that could have been a really good sigil. That was definitely my last kill. 14 kills. I think I just lost a bunch of money. I'm not going to lie to you. This is like an hour. I have not much money. Not much. I'm going to uncharge this. I think I want to go back to revs because I want something consistent because, yeah, I'm just losing money doing this and trying to hit the lottery. Oh my god, Avarice actually bought. That is going to be very nice for Revenants. The magic shortbow out. One mil for an Avarice. Don't mind if I do. I wonder how long the skull is. Hopefully it's only a five minute skull so I can just leave whenever I want. But yeah, Revenants, uh, here I come. All right, let's put on the Avarice. I wonder how this works. Is the skull? It is a 20 minute skull. Um... That's fine, to be honest. I forgot my looting bag again. The looting bag is full, and holy crap, it is so full of good, juicy loot. I'm going to go dump it in. I'm going to put the Avarice away for now, because I'm almost done with my task, and by the time I'm done with my task, hopefully my skull will have run out. Another inventory coming in. A lot of battle stabs. And I think I can just come back and finish this task real fast. Right, the task is over. No lucky rev weapon. I'm going to kill these for three more minutes. Well, my skull runs out, and then we will go elk all of our cash, all of our stuff, and assess where we're at. I think it might be bedtime, to be honest. If you don't know, you should always put an ether into your rev bracelet before you elk them, because it makes them elk for a little bit more. 1.5 mil, let's collect the GE. We have 1.87 mil profit, plus some archaic emblems. I think the current plan is, I'm just going to sell these for pretty cheap. 1200k these type prices are pretty stable i have four build to work with this avarice will probably sell overnight i think it's probably bedtime and i'm gonna buy a ton of dragon stones overnight we have three dragon scimitars in our deposit box in case we need like in case of emergency money i'm gonna leave this buying overnight and hopefully tomorrow i wake up with some green offers all right morning voice i've literally just woken up everything bought uh, I'm gonna go make all of these into glories. Maybe I can insta buy some more dragon stones. 45k. I'm gonna try to insta buy all of these. We have like a hundred something glories. I'm gonna go make these, uh, charge them, and then I think I'm gonna go get ready for the day. Let's go make all these glories. Last inventory charged. Let's chuck all of these on the grand exchange. How many do I actually have? I have no idea. I have over a hundred. I know that. 106. Not bad at all. It should be like eight something mil. Put them on for 79k. And hopefully these just sell over time. It is like peak hours now. So hopefully these sell while I go shower and get ready for the day. All right. Okay. Almost all the glories have sold. And I bought myself a whisper setup. I just need to buy the shadow back. Should sell for like 1400k. And we'll buy some charges and some other stuff. I want to get 94 mage real quick. I might just alk it. Hey, 94 mage. A week into deadman mode, I can actually use barrage which is the last thing we need for the Whisper. I think I need to go buy the teleport again because I dropped it, which is kind of annoying. So let's buy an Arda teleport and go get the Ring of Shadows, I think. So we're going to back to the Whisper. I bought Nicole for four mil. This is our setup, 156 mage bonus, which isn't great, not gonna lie, but you know, I'll probably do four minute kills, but I am owed some Vertis. Oh, a Shadow Quartz. Been here about an hour, I think. Awakener's Orb. These are actually selling on the GE now, so I'm not mad. Ah, another orb. That's what, like the 50 kills now? A lot of soul runes, but look at my chat box. An eternal crystal has sold. Uh, I have big plans for this. All right, I've done about 50 kill count or so at the Whisperer. The, the loot is pretty good. I have a lot in my deposit box because I'm going to go to the Breach. I put in my occult, uh, the eternal crystal that I bought. And I have about another 1.3 mil cash just from doing the regular loot. No Virtus yet, but uh, surely it's soon, right? Uh, this is my breach setup. I'm just going to shadow stuff and hopefully I get like a, a couple things. Hopefully in this 15 minute, I make like two, three mil because I really want to buy infinity boots. I have no idea how much they'll sell for, but.
but I really, really need to make a couple mil so I can start flipping. Oh, I actually got a weapon wreath, the one. This could be a couple mil. Ooh, a shadow. It's not the best, but not the worst, I think. I think a scythe is better now. Oh god, this guy's on me. He's in full Aram's Zerial stuff. This is kind of scary. And we're gone. Alright, thankfully I didn't die. About one or two mil from the breach. Total loot from the breach, 377k. Plus one mil from the shadow. Plus a ton of supplies, to be honest. Okay, Infinity Boots aren't buying for seven mil, and they take what, like two hours to get? I think I might just leave this in for a little bit lower, see if someone like sells them to me. I think I'm just gonna go get Infinity Boots unironically. Like this does not take long at all to go get. Longest room done. I think I'm gonna go do Graveyard next. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought. All right, this room is much better when you have prayer potions to spare. There is the Guardian, whatever this room is called, done. Uh, I wanna see if the Alchemaniac sigil will work in the alch Alchemy room. I always save the enchanting one for last because it's just so free. Unfortunately, it didn't actually work in this room, but there is 120 alchemy points and we only have the enchanting one left, which is probably just going to take like 10 minutes. All right, 1200 enchantment points coming up. Then we can go buy our infinity boots. I'm so excited to sell these. I have no idea how long this took. I'm almost at 12 hours though. I think it took like two or two and a half hours ish. Infinity boots purchased. Let's attach the, I wonder how much XP this gives. I think it's going to give a decent amount. Give me my eternal crystal. Fuse them, proceed, hey, some nice XP. I wonder if these will sell for 13. I'm gonna slow sell these for 13 and I'm gonna go make dinner. All right, wow, I got, I lost a mill on the occult. Wow, that was kind of lame, but we're going back to Whisper that while these boots buy, I'm gonna put an offer in for another eternal crystal. Hope these will definitely sell over time while I do Whisper, just a matter of waiting for them to sell. And hopefully we get some more Virtus. Yes! Yes! That's the best piece as well. Virtus Robe Top. That's like halfway to the Ninja Sigil in one item. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I wonder how much this thing's gonna sell for. Oh, let's go. The boots sold for 12 mil. How much profit is that? I got the boots myself, so that's like 10 mil profit just from making, getting Infinity Boots. And I should be able to buy more Infinity Boots and more Crystals and keep doing this. I decided to sell the Virtus top for 66 mil. I probably could have gotten more, but I want the raw cash right now. Look at this. I have two pairs of infinity boots. I want a lot of raw cash so I can just put stuff in the GE. I can make eternal boots. I could probably do the same with primordials. I can also start making sufferings again. I probably can make like two or three mil per Zenite I buy. I have a full offer of GE offers in. If those Masoris buy, I could potentially make a lot of money. But I think for now, it's time to go back to the Whisper. I can wear these Infinity Boots while I buy the Crystals. It's Devo Box, the other one, and head back. More money. Look at the regular loot that I'm getting from this boss. 42 Runite Orth, 210 Battle Staves. And look what's in my GE. Eternal Crystal has bought. Let's see if we can put these Eternal Boots in for a good price. Let's do 12 mil. Those will probably sell pretty fast, hopefully. But oh my god, look at this. These are going to go for like... Let's say 5k each. It's a mil. Are these just insta sell? These will. Dude, the loot, regular loot from this boss kind of goes crazy. It's like two mil in one inventory. Zenite sold. I think I'm going to have to take out this eternal crystal offer to buy death runes. I'm in the middle of making my Zenite and my eternal spot. So I think I'm just going to wear these while these other ones sell. And I'll hold off on buying infinity boots for now. Oh, my Eternal sold. I did, haven't even made the Suffering yet. 12 mil. Let's go ahead and chuck these in for 12 mil as well. Another Onyx for when my Zenite buys. And I don't have a Teleport to the Grand Exchange. So we'll walk there. But another Suffering sold. I'm going to have 40 mil cash plus all those GE offers I'm absolutely printing right now. Every boot that I make is like 5 mil and every Suffering that I make is like 6. So I am absolutely printing. I'm okay to take a break from the Whisper while doing this. I'll probably go back after I put in another offer for a Masori top. GE current GE offers 93 mil in the GE. Pretty nice. Uh, my Shadow Quartz. I have Infinity Boots again, by the way. Just waiting for that Eternal Crystal to buy. <gasps> Masori Chaps bought. Oh my god, I'm so excited. 
oh i could i could make a huge profit on these or i could lose a ton of money and i don't know which it's gonna be all right let's cancel this masori body offer and we're gonna buy armadillo chain skirt will this sell for 20 mil hopefully let's put these chaps in the deposit box hoping i can sell these for like 60 mil oh i was just about to go back oh i don't have a ring of returning armadillo chain skirt bot let's go Chisel on the Armadale chain skirt into the Missouri fortified chaps. Boom. That's a lot of crafting XP, to be honest. I paid 51 mil for these. I'm hoping I can get 65. Maybe I can make 14 mil. I'm going to leave this in for a while because this will retain value. 100% it will. Anything over like 60 mil, I'll be very happy with. Another ring of suffering sold and it is back to the whisperer I go. Do I want to do anything with these coins? 13 mil. Can I put anything in? I don't know. If I think of it, I will do it. The chaps didn't sell overnight, but my titanium bought overnight. And I think I want to go try to do the wilderness bosses because the Void Waker is crazy expensive. And I'm not getting any luck at Whisper anymore besides that Virtus top. So I'm, I'm going to buy this precision sigil and I want to try something a little different. This starter sigil is worth three mil, by the way. That is kind of crazy. But we have all the sigils and gear we need to head to Ven Venonatus or Spindle. I don't know which I'll do. First kill, can I spoon it? How many charges does this use? Holy. Wait, I got a strange fruit? I got crumb wands? What is all this? I don't take any damage here. I might take, I need to get a bit more prayer pots. I use a lot of charges. I think I'm gonna use these 1000 charges and then I think I'm just gonna use the uncharged scythe. This is such a chill boss, it's crazy. I, unironically, I take zero damage because of titanium. If I had a blood fury, it would go up. So look at this, look how many procs I'm getting. Dude, I'm just shredding this thing. Holy shit. I'm just attacking at two tick speed with a scythe, by the way. This is nuts. Scythe on a three by three monster. Crazy chance to proc. It's probably like 50% or so. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'll take a 1kc dragon pickaxe. This boss is really rough with one person. Like, holy shit. I can probably do one more kill, but this takes forever. I think I need to get darts. 1kc dragon pickaxe, though. I've spooned two drops in a row, but both of them are pretty useless. I think I'd be surprised if either of these were over a mil. One KC pickaxe, two KC treasonous ring. If only I got the gem. My time at Spindle was ended extremely quickly by some interesting PKers. Oh, well, goodbye dragon pickaxe money. I think it might be uh, not time to go to the wilderness <laughs> if that's going to happen. <laughs> Who is this guy? This guy is just <laughs> perma flaming me. This G killers guy. <laughs> he wasn't even attacking me. What's wrong? What's wrong with that guy? All right, I lost like two mil insta buying my sigils back and selling them, but we're going back to the whisper. <laughs> I really only lost one mil because I got a dragon pickaxe, luckily. But uh, maybe we'll do that a bit later when there's less PKers out. Probably stupid to even try it during peak hours, and I don't know why I didn't have ice axe. I really could have just froze that guy and hugged. <laughs> You're so stupid. I didn't really risk much, so I, did, I didn't like think too much of it, but yeah, that was dumb. Back on the suffering grind. Let's play another Zenite. I think plus like four mil, we made our death back. No, a Siren Staff. It's been 85 kills since we've got Virtus. I think that's just as rare. I've decided to sell these legs for 50 mil. I'm losing a mil, but I want money to make more money. And these chaps just aren't selling. So thank you, Mr. Soviet Union. And hopefully I can make more than that one mil back on the Grand Exchange. Turns out there was a suffering shortage or a Zenite surplus in the GE. I insta bought like four for pretty cheap. So I'm pretty glad I sold my Missouri so I could start doing this again. Four sufferings going on to the Grand Exchange. All right, I've been making bank on these boots. Hopefully they keep selling. We're going two hours left. We're just gonna go back to the Whisper while hopefully this stuff sells. And maybe we'll get one lucky more Virtus piece before the time runs out. 500 kill count featuring Eternal Boots that sold. Titanium sold for 20 mil. The Eternal Boots for 15. Another Suffering. How much coins do I have? We're at 64 mil cash. Wow. All right. The Primordial sold. Both Suffering sold, leaving us with 99 mil. I think I want to put a lowball offer in for Ninja because it's on sale right now and I don't know why. Let's try 95 mil. 
Maybe we can reach our goal early. Who knows? That was very fast. I went to go to the bathroom and it bought. 23 hours and 10 minutes in, we've reached our goal. We have all the sigils I want. Uh, I probably used this ninja for the last like hour just to farm Whisper. See if we can get a, another bonus Virtus drop. But we have the ninja sigil. This sigil is worth so much money. I only made like half of my bank by PVMing. Skilling is really underrated in dead men mode because I have 60 room crafting. I can make those boots. No one else has it that like gets the drops. And making sufferings, 85 crafting or 84, really, really underrated. All right, 10 seconds left. Can I get Virtus? Uh, a lot of monkfish, a thousand monkfish. Well, 525 Whisperer killed. And the timer is three, two, one. Oh my God, that's loud. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, let's sell all the loot besides the ninja and see what we have. Thankfully, ninja went down to like 80 mil randomly and it went back up to 100 mil. So I got a really, really good price for the sigil. My final bank right now is the ninja sigil, like 20 mil cash plus some raiding sigils that I want to use. I think I might go kill Duke or do some raids or something. I don't want to swap out. I want to keep PVMing. I'm having a lot of fun on dead man mode. At 24 hours, we made about 120 mil. We could probably swap this out for like 300 something but i want to keep playing so i want to keep this gear and do some raids and stuff so i think i'll probably make one more dead man video and i'll see you next time